Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is Res Fusion. My name is Christine Mwangi and this is a new channel. Um, the channel will be basically me making cocktails more and mocktails and also syrups. If you'd like to be part of this journey, please hit the subscribe button down below. We are going to be making simple syrup, spicy syrup and tea syrups. Um, for the tea syrup, I'm going to be using sugar and water. For the spicy syrup, I'm going to be using ginger for the spiciness. And the spicy syrup can be used in some mocktails and also some cocktails. For the tea syrups, you can use even the black tea, but today we're not going to be using the black tea. Um, it will be for another video. So um, I'm going to show you the, the teas that I've used and also the brews. This is the orange coconut pineapple tea. And then we have the blueberry, blackberry, lemon, and we have the red berries. Um, I've already brewed the teas. Here's the orange, orange coconut pineapple tea brew. We have the blueberry, blackberry, lemon, rose tea brew. They are all cold brews. And we have the red berry tea brew. And if you want it to be conk concentrated, you use two tea, two tea bags for each. Um, as you can see, this one is not concentrated. I only use one. And also for the blueberry, blackberry. But for the red berries, um, I wanted it to be somewhat concentrated. So I used two tea bags. the first syrup which is simple syrup i'm going to be using a ratio of of one is to two um, that is one part sugar and two part water i don't want it to be so sweet but if you want it to be sweet you can use the ratio of two is to two uh, two part sugar and two part water i'm going to be using furia <laughs> You're supposed to use low heat. First of all, I'll put the water. And the sugar next. And then I'll stir until it dissolves. sugar has dissolved in the water you after that you leave it to cool for a while after the sugar syrup has cooled down um, you can use a glass bottle for storing the sugar syrup and you store it in a fridge have your sugar syrup. Next syrup, we're going to be making the spicy syrup, which we have ginger. Sorry for the set of my ginger. <laughs> so we're going to peel first. You can blend the ginger or mix it into cubes. Today we're going to be slicing it into cubes. Um, 
it depends on how concentrated you want your spiced spice your spicy syrup to be. Um, mine I don't want it to be very concentrated, but I want it to be a little bit spicy. So I'm going to be using a little bit and also um, the sugar syrup. The sugar syrup is one is to two. So I'm going to be putting the ginger in the sugar syrup. I'm going to put the sugar syrup. I'll put the ginger. You must wait for it to boil so that so that the sugar syrup can get the spiciness from the ginger. You can leave it till it boils. After it has boiled, leave it, wait for it to cool so that you can store it. The spicy syrup has cooled down. You can now store it. to put the ginger some pieces of ginger and then so that it can absorb still the spiciness you can leave the ginger pieces inside for a whole day or for 24 hours that syrup we're going to be making the tea syrups now we've started with the tea syrups the orange pineapple coconut tea syrup we're going to measure the sugar we said it's measure is one is to two one part sugar two parts water now it's one part sugar two parts the cold tea brew yes I use 500 ml of water to make the tea brew, so I'm going to be using one because 500 ml is equal to two cups. I'm going to be measuring one cup so that it is one is to two. One is to two. One cup. <coughs> one cup sugar. Two cups water. I'm going to pour the cold brew in for the coconut. Pineapple orange brew. After which, I'm going to pour in the sugar. And then stir. it has all dissolved leave for it to cool now store it I'm going to store it in the freezer orange pineapple coconut tea syrup it is going to be making the Blueberry, blackberry, lemon, rose, tea, syrup. We have the cold brew and also the sugar, which is one is to two. One part sugar, two parts blueberry, blackberry, lemon, and rose, tea. We're going to be pouring in the Cold brew tea, and then you pour the sugar in. This the sugar is dissolved. You leave it to cool. 
After the blueberry blackberry tea syrup has cooled off, I'm going to get all the content somewhere to store. I'm going to store it in the freezer. So as it can stay for a longer period. We're going to be making the red berry tea syrup. We have the red berry brew and the sugar, still one part sugar, two part tea brew. Tea, the red berry. Red berries, tea brew, cold brew, the red berry cold brew, and then sugar, and then you stop. Until the sugar dissolves. berry tea syrup has cooled down you can transfer the contents to a jar and then you stop here's your red berry tea syrup I like the dark color. If you like the video, please hit the like icon down below. And please, if you've not joined yet, please subscribe down below. Um, and that's 